Oh, what? You want to show your appreciation for me? Okay, okay. Get down there. Get down there. Open wide. Open wide. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> Katima Gaming here. Uh, okay. We need to talk about the Steam Deck. All right, it seems like the internet has already gotten its fill on it, and they already talked about the specs, the pricing, and all that stuff, everything that it can do. It's settling down, so I'm not here to talk about that and how exciting it is, but I'm here to talk about the future of that that PC, portable PC gaming uh, device uh, for discussion and argument's sake, okay? No skits today, guys. I'm really sorry, uh, because I, we just need to sit down, okay? And then just uh, relax. Let's talk and sip some tea. That's good stuff. And uh, yeah, talk about a few things that I'm worried about and uh, some concerns I have with the console per se. Um, first things first, it's really pissing me off that everyone's discussing and, and clickbaiting uh, people uh, to to compare it with the Switch and the fact that it's it's a Switch killer, you know, and they, they're even talking about it beating all the consoles and all that stuff. And it's really, it's really pissing me off because, you know, for starters, it's not even comparable. Right? Yeah. You're okay, baby. You're okay. No, 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 no. You're, I'm not replacing you. You're still the best, baby. You're still mine. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, I strongly disagree that the Switch uh, and consoles are even comparable with the VSD. Get it? Valve, Steam Deck, VSD. You know, why, why not go with that? Okay, I'm having a hard time. You know what's really weird? I'm having a hard time Googling Steam Deck. Instead, it keeps going to uh, Elgato Stream Deck, you know? <laughs> so yeah, VSD, Valve, make it happen, okay? I digress. Okay, so Switch Killer, I mean, and, and Console Killer. And it shouldn't even be a dis in, in that discussion range at all. It's a portable PC. Okay, and even Valve acknowledges it, uh, that it's a portable PC with attached controllers. And hooking it up with a cable into a desktop, uh, you can install Windows on it later on if you don't like the Linux-based uh, Steam OS. Uh, and if you want to launch your Ubisoft launcher or your Epic Game Launcher or even Battle.net, Battle uh, okay. Yeah, you can do that uh, in the near future if you don't like the Steam OS. So fine, that's really, really cool. Aside from the controllers and the dock that's coming later in the future, how is it comparable, okay, to the Switch, all right? Uh, why would Switch owners even want a Steam Deck is also a big question because, you know, okay, you're comparing it, let's do this, okay, to play your Steam games. Oh. Obviously, you can say, oh yeah, I'm going to get it so I can play my Steam games. But those who already have a strong Steam library, think about it, okay? Uh, probably already have laptops and PCs that can play those games in the first place. Now, like I said, this is just an argument, okay? I'm just putting it out there, okay, for you to think about. I'm just trying to find a reason to own a Steam Deck uh, without planning to replace my Switch. I told you, I told you, baby, you're okay, you're okay. You're okay, relax, relax. All right, um, which moves me to another thing I'm worried about is how will the Steam Deck age through the years? It's certainly not a console. So why is everybody saying like, oh, it's got PS4 and Xbox One, uh, you know, specs. Stop it, just stop it. Okay, it's a PC, so why isn't the internet giving us more comparison? with PC specs, okay? The Steam Deck is running on an APU, um, meaning it's a CPU and GPU in one chip. The CPU is a four core AMD Zen 2 processor, which is equivalent to a Ryzen 3 3100. Okay, and for the GPU, it's actually hard to, 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 make, a, to make a comparison, but the, the closest, I believe, is a 1050 or a 1050 Ti, somewhere in that, in that realm. It's an APU, it's a different machine, a different beast altogether. But there, you're welcome. Okay, those are the things that I'm actually looking uh, at. Everyone's saying like, oh, PS4 and Xbox One, it's exactly like that. It's like, no, it's a portable PC. Stop comparing it with a console. And that's what people aren't talking about, okay? With these specs, even at 720p, how long until AAA games can no longer be playable on the Steam Deck, okay? Like, sure, like I said, it's a PC. 
you can adjust the graphics and bring it down if you want to still play games on the go 60 30 frames whatever but that's what separates that that's what separates the steam deck from regular consoles is that you can adjust the settings just like a pc take a look at the switch for example Four years now, four years, super underpowered now. Everyone's making fun of how potato it is, yet its exclusive games and its future exclusive games will still be well optimized running at 30 to 60 frames. PS4, Xbox One are the same, okay? Around, you know, the PS4 and Xbox One are eight years old now. And developers are still optimizing the games to make it sure it runs on an, a it runs on an average 30 to 60 frames. Ah, I love this stuff. My question is, how long will it take until Steam Deck can no, learn, can no longer play AAA games at an acceptable level? How far will your 500 or so dollars go, uh, two years, three years down the line, instead of investing in a console? Even at 720p, take note, you're already running on specs that is a few years old already. Of course, in the preview, all right, the Steam Deck and Valve were already showing up uh, the Steam Deck being capable of playing Star Wars and Control pretty well. That's awesome. And if there's any truth to that, it means that the Steam Deck will still be relevant and you don't have to buy a new one two to three years on the line. <sighs> Hopefully. I don't know what I was doing with my fingers. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> We've seen The Witcher and Doom. Even even Crisis play on on the Switch, which was deemed impossible, but that's simply because the developers tailor made these games to be optimized on consoles, especially the Switch. They've tailor made it. Um, so, but with Steam Deck, will developers tailor make games for the Steam Deck, or will they treat the Steam Deck like a PC? Will, I'm talking about the developers. Will they treat it any special from a regular PC is what I'm worried about. Um, again, you know, I'm not calling out the Steam Deck as a bad console. I mean, portable gaming PC, why not? You know, I'm, I'm putting it out there just for argument's sake, something for people to think about. I love the Steam Deck, okay? I want to get my hands on it if I could. Even if it no longer played the latest games two years down the line, I don't care. Because you're, you're talking about backlogs, years of backlogs on Steam that, can that it can actually play. I mean, think about it. You can play Path of Exile on the go. Oh my gosh, Battletech, you can play that on the go. Man, I would play Jagged Alliance. I could play Jagged Alliance 2 anywhere I want. Oh, and, and, and don't deny it, you have. You all of y'all got grayed out games on your Steam. Shame on you, shame on you. You got grayed out Steam's, uh, Steam games that you've never played or haven't touched in years or you've never even installed and you've bought them on Steam sale. This might be your chance to actually clear your backlog down the line. Oh yeah. So the ability to play PC games on the go. Um, but then again, with this pandemic, where can you go? You know, that's gonna be a tough sale for a lot of people. Still, it's a great touch to, you know, wow, to be able to suspend games and play them, resume them anytime. That's, I think, the, the bridge that you could put between consoles and then and, and PC. Still, as of right now, what really bumps me out is that only people in the West can make reservations. You know, US, Canada, and the EU. No love for Asia, no love for Australia, you know, well, what you gonna do? Uh, so if it does go global, <laughs> I mean, whenever that is, it's slated to be able to order in December. Um, but then we're definitely gonna get it here by 2022, pff, whenever. <laughs> e even then, let's say the prices for the entry level, $400 per unit, and then uh, that probably would would increase to $600 by the time that it goes global and we'll be able to buy it here, probably in Asia and Australia and o o in the oceanic areas. Uh, and remember, the thing that, that really worries me is that Steam Deck's on a PC spec. So clock's ticking. The moment that it comes out, clock is ticking on its ability to play the latest games, unlike console, again, where it's always going to be optimized. And, and, and people say, oh yeah, don't worry, you can install Windows on it, run it on a monitor, okay, with keyboard and mouse and use it like a PC. It's like, you know what, stop, stop 
putting that up my face. I am guessing the majority of people who buy the Valve Steam Deck will use it for its opus. Opus meaning original purpose. They're going to stick with the Steam uh, OS. Okay, and they're just gonna keep playing like that. They're not even gonna install Windows on it because on, with the Linux-based SteamOS, you can already use it to surf the internet and uh, use it sort of like a PC. Sure, you might not be able to install your launchers, your other launchers, but I doubt that a lot of people will even do that. And besides, people who will get the Steam Deck probably already have laptops and then and, and have cell phones and tablets that can do office work anyway. So there, I find very little reason why people will use the Steam Deck for office work or for media consumption in the first place if you already have phones that can, and, and tablets that can do that, let alone gaming laptops already. And of course, if you're a Samsung user, you got DeX, okay, which is, uh, you know, short for desktop experience. It's a really cool word for it. So yeah, there's less and less reason that you'd want to use it uh, for as an office workstation. All right, so my last worry is the price, okay? Valve is claiming that it's very competitive. I, it sure is. I mean, like, wow, for $500 or $600, you're looking at a gaming PC, which, if you think about it, in this era of shortage, should cost about a thousand dollars think about it if you are to build a pc with the same specs as the steam deck it's not easy because you're still you still got to find a reasonable price for your gpu and cpu and even if you do on top of that you still need to pay about 200 dollars for a 1080p monitor keyboard and mouse you know and that's a good thing but valve put a price on it at 400 550 and 650 US dollars. My biggest worry here is that what are the chances those prices will stick come December or second quarter of 2022 when it does go global, you know? And if it does reach the rest of the world by mid 2022, <laughs> what are the chances the prices are still gonna be there? I mean, like tax, import tax, value added tax, VAT, and all that stuff, scalpers, you know? I, I really hope that you know, the price don't go up too much because if it does, it's gonna give me less reason to buy the Steam Deck. And even worse, will the value of the Steam Deck still hold up by 2022, mid 2022? Because remember, it's a PC, clock's ticking, you know? So yeah, uh, overall, I have my worries with this thing and how long till Valve actually shoots another upgraded version. You know, maybe two years and then Valve releases the, the Valve Steam Deck 2.0. You know, PC gaming is a tough industry, I get it. And I'm excited that Valve is pushing the competition for this new category of gaming. And if, and if it clicks, it, it proves that there is a market for these things and that PC gaming is about to reach another level uh, outside of portable gaming laptops. So with the hype settling in, I think people should be talking more about the problems of the VSD. I think people who really want it need to think about the future of how this value goes in the long run. I mean, this is a $300, $400 uh, console that will still stay optimized for years to come. Will the Steam Deck do the same for the value you're getting for $600, okay? Anyways, those are my thoughts, you know, just for argument and discussion's sake, okay? Do you agree or disagree? You know, just comment down below. I'd love to hear what you think about the Steam Deck and everything that I've talked about too. Uh, please like and subscribe because it really helps small channels like me out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in our past, present, and future videos. Sarika? Oh, what? You want to show your appreciation for me? Okay, okay. Get down there. Get down there. Open wide. Open wide. Oh, yeah.